Taylor about the fucking flex. Hey, what's up, man? This is Protocol with Houston Hip Hop Fix. I'm in the building right now with a very special guest. 24 hours, what's going on, baby? What's going on with you, man? man. Thanks for following through. Thanks for having me. Busy day. Super busy, busy, busy year. <laughs> yeah, already. Last couple busy years, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been breaking boundaries. Um, and you've been you've been ushering in the, the new wave of R&B. Mm -hmm. um, you have a new album out. Uh, EP. EP. I got, I got an EP and a mixtape out. I got, um... Is that Night Shift? The night mixtape? Shift EP. Okay. And then the mixtape is a Gangster Grills with Drama, 12 a.m. Right. in Atlanta. Right. And, um, those two are out right now. Working on the album, though. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what you like is one of the hottest singles out right now. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Facts. Uh, it's like number seven on the, on the urban, urban radio, so it's climbing. And climbing. And climbing. Hot with the... Got Ty Dolla Sign on there. Wiz, Wiz on there. Hit Boy produced it. It's big. It was a big, it's a big who, song. Who produced that track? That's a beautiful track. Hit Boy. Hit Boy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Speaks for itself. Yeah. Man. Yeah. It does. Um, man, bro, I had I was so excited uh, when I found out we were gonna sit down for a little bit um, because I love that song. Appreciate it. I love that song. That's um, tight to me. Like, hey, bro. like it's like we make the music, and it's like. Even when I performed it tonight, like I was, I always performed it towards the end just to see, cause like being on tour with my bro, like these is a lot of his fans. Like when you get a chance to catch a 24 hour show, like the whole show is different. It's so much darker and so much like, just like a different vibe than the kids that are here. So um, when I can even see five, six or seven of them singing the lyrics, I'm like, Man, all right. Yeah, it's yeah. reaching. It's reaching other. It's, it's definitely reaching, reaching, reaching other out, people. man. It's definitely being with a bro boy is my fear. Yeah, I that's told him, baby, get the fuck. A lot. Out of it's, here. it's hard. Yeah, man, it's dope. Um, also heard about the remix dropping with T Pain. Is that correct? It came out. Yeah, it came out like days uh, two days ago. Yeah. Pain dropped it. It was crazy. Okay. I got another remix coming out in a few days with P and B Rock and Tokyo on it. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Hard. That's hard. That's awesome, bro. Um, it's really cool that you're you're on a roll. You know, um, I thought I thought the I haven't got a chance to listen to Twelve AM with Drama yet, but I did yeah, have a chance to listen to Night Shift. Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm gonna listen to that on the way home. Okay. Um, Hold yin and yang like Night Shift. Really? And you switch to Twelve AM. Night What's shift? the difference between those two projects? <coughs> so much. Um, all my projects got a meaning, like. It starts with like, I do. I never named the project before I work on it. So it's like, Night Shift EP was like, I knew I was going on tour before this tour and I wanted a new body of workout. Like, I don't ever wanna, like, I can go on tour with like the work that's already out, but I like to always put some new stuff just so like the fans, like the, the real fans would be like, oh man, he dropped Night Shift, now he's on the road. I wanna go see these new songs live. Mm -hmm. So even before I came on this tour with Tokyo, I dropped 12 a.m. in Atlanta. And um, it's a different combo with that because I dropped 12 in Atlanta and I got the top 10 song in the country. Right. So it's like the the, 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 the the chemistry between those two together. It's like, man, I'm really ready to uh, do my tour next. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. Let's talk about that, man, because, you know, you kind of, you are a businessman and you kind of formed something behind the scenes Yeah. Uh, where it is a treat when you come out and perform. How is it having, taking your little brother under your wing with your label PCR and, and just kind of protecting them from the things that maybe you had to go through. I mean, that's like family, you know, like, 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 I think like, like a lot of people was in the building tonight, like that just came to see us from like Lil Flip to ASAP Rocky to, to everybody who's here. And it's like, people really want to see like me and Tokyo together. Cause, cause we real brothers. Like, yeah. we, like there's the industry brothers, but right. then like there's a difference in like, Shit, we both used to get in trouble at right, eight years right, old. You know what right. I'm saying? That's my blood. So like, right. to see him come to me like, yo, I really want to make music and I really want to do this. Like, shit, only thing I can't do is help him. Like, like, like that's what you do. Like, you, you help your family. But 
it was like I told him from the jump, like, man, this shit not easy. Like, this, this is like, it's a whole nother level when you get into, like, when you get in, it's a whole nother level. You gonna, I told him, I said, you gonna surpass what I've done. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I'ma still be there to tell you how to run it because, mm. like, I studied the game. Like, I'm a real student of it. So, like, I try to learn the ins and outs of it. And I'm still learning, but I can tell you, like, I ain't slipping. Right, <laughs> I, ain't, right. I, ain't, I ain't slipping with it. So, it's been good to be there to be like, uh, I got a, I got a song I never told nobody about yet. Mm. It's called Me and My Bro, and it's on my album. Okay. And I don't know even got a title yet, but like, um, um, it was like one, one of the one of the lines was like, um, and was it ever a question would I ride for you? Mm -hmm. And it's been good to watch you blow. It's like I'm like a second pair of eyes for you, mm. and it's like with Tokyo and everything that happened so fast, like, I was the perfect person to be, like, in pocket mm -hmm. with them because, like, mm -hmm. one, I've been in the game, two, right. I have record deals, right. I've seen money, I've right. been broke, I've had money, I've did everything that the game had to offer besides sell a million records. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you, every show I go to, I got somebody coming up to me like, yo, I've been a fan before 24 hours. Like, I was a fan before you switched your name. Right. Like, so it's like, right. so to me it's like, Man, that hard work, I used to ask myself like, man, why I put so much work in and it's taking right. forever to blow? But it really was just like putting the work in so, you know, I can lead these young people around me and, and, and like be a leader and be a boss at, at like the situation. Like Tokyo, I don't know how many million records sold now, but like she, he, he ain't gonna, like like he right here, he ain't gonna like, like, he ain't gonna really make, ain't gonna be no, big move made like like that I'm like in the hole of like nah like if if anything I'm getting a call at 2 a.m. like yo right so this is what the play this is what they told me what you think I'm like it's your play what you right. think right shit I want to know what you this think kind of like, you know what I'm saying it, because you know, like, we, yeah, I'm never I told him from the jump I never steal you wrong I don't care how I don't care how many yes men you know I gotta be that no guy like nope yeah. Nah, I ain't fucking with it, B. Yes, you know what I'm saying? No matter what, I tell yeah. him. And he, he do the same with me. So it's like, we level. Like, that's why it's like, this tour don't mean nothing for me to come. Like, it's like, yeah, it's with my brother. Like, you asking me to go on the road with my family. Let's right. go. Right. It ain't even about no money. It ain't even about none of that. Like, I'm, I'm here with my bro, like, just to make sure he all right. right. Make sure his this is his first headlining tour. Right. To make sure that right. everything was just right for him. I didn't know that, man. I didn't know that this is the first headlining tour. Yeah, first I'm going he to went on tour it. with Big Sean. He went on tour with Ferg and Tori. He went on tour with Tiger. But this is his first like made in Tokyo. He tour. definitely brought out a nice crowd tonight. Yeah, yeah, no, it was um, cool. You talked about fans of yours before 24 hours. Yeah. Um, so that's you know when we were kind of the Rolls, Rizzy Rolls Royce. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, how was it having to reinvent yourself? What was that process like? Let's get some money. Yeah. That's what that was about. Like, I'm, I'm gonna come clean. Like, I don't, like, the way my mind work, like, it's always about some paper. It's always about some money. Nigga, we not talking about money. What are we talking about? So it's like, with the game, it's like, I, and I tell people this all the time, like, yeah, like, like I love the game. Like, that, that's why I'm in the game. So it's like, with being in and out of deals, like, I don't even know how far, you know how far I go back, but it's like, first, deal I was in, who I was working with. That was cool, I took from that and learned. Signed to JD, Jermaine Dupri. Right. He signed as my manager, we did the RCA deal. That was like 2013. That, that, yeah, that, that, was, that was cool, I learned from that. Around 15, I'm like, man, I don't know. 14, nah, probably like 14, into 13, 14, I'm like, yo, this single done died down, I don't know what to do. Like, I'm, I'm in a mode where I'm not even leaving the crib. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm like, like I got a major record deal. I'm around major people and this shit's still not working. Tokyo this whole time was like my little, that's my dog, like my little homie, like right. in the studio with me, but not recording, just like, yo, you need anything? Like, like I heard my, he, he really you know had to beg you to get that yeah, song, yeah, yeah. Like, like. Like, 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 I mean. Like really push You know, hard Tokyo to was like, Put it like this, yeah, nah, nah, for sure. Like, yeah. he was with me, like, that was like, you know, yo, I'm about to ride over here, and he be like, all right, I'm not gonna let you ride by yourself, I'm about to come with you. Right, right. That was Tokyo, that's my little bro, right. so he was with me. So one day, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I had already did the deal with like JD, and did the deal with everybody, and um, he was like, yo, help, help me with my music, I wanna put this song out. I heard it, 
I didn't really respond like that at first, and then he hit me again, like, come on, dog, like, help me put this joint out. I'm like, yeah. all right, let's go, fuck it, we right. did it. And I literally, 90 days from that, that shit blew up. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's crazy. That shit blew up, but I mean, to me, it's about, the, the change from Rizzy to 24 was like, all right, I wanna shake all, all, all the, all the, all the, all the, all the uh, cob, I wanna, I wanna shake everything that involved my name. If you go type in Royce Rizzy on Google right now, you're gonna see Rolls Royce lawsuits, you're gonna see TMZ, right. you're gonna see Jermaine Dupri, you're gonna see Lil Scrappy, you're gonna see all these people that was attached to me. So I'm like, yo, I don't wanna put my, my, my attachments on the Tokyo, and I don't want the attachments on me no more. I learned from this shit, I'm over that shit. Like, how, how can I really get some money and be brand new? Right. All right, recreate yourself. Right. But you got, I had to recreate myself in a way where people just, I couldn't just be like, all right, I'm not Rizzy no more, call me 20. Right. Like, it don't work like that. Like, right. I had to go figure out the coolest way to do it for, for the girls to fall in love first and then let them know like, all right, I'm 24 hours. Like, wait, don't I? Guess what, some of my new fans don't even know about the past, but then, some of the people out here in Houston was my biggest market is Rizzy. Wow. Don't know why, wow. don't know how Houston was, wow. but as Royce Rizzy, wow. Houston was my biggest market. In that crowd tonight, standing at the merch, people was coming up to me like, yo, yeah. I've been a fan yeah. since Rizzy. Like, yeah. like, like, I just want to let you know. So yeah. it's like, it, it's been a long time coming, but I switched it for like, yo, let's get some money. That's crazy, like, man. Let's get some money. Like if I, if I switch it up and, uh, and if I can outsmart the game, yeah. I, I, already, I already was a student. Like, you know, I dropped out of college my freshman year and I feel like I really dropped out to go to another college and like music, the industry was my college. Like yeah. I feel like I graduated from this shit, bro. Like, like, and because I graduated, it was like, all right, now I'm about to start a whole new name and a whole new artist with the knowledge that I got from being in it, from having a major deal, from having a popping manager like JD, from being on radio already, but now I got the mind frame of a nigga who really know what's going on, but the, the fan base and the, and the look of like a new nigga. Right. So it worked, it just worked perfect, man. God, God had me, like when, when it was time for me to push my brother, like no jealous shit, no like, no, no, like, what's up with me? I asked my pop one time, I sat back, I'm on the phone with my pop, I'm like, Yo, like, honestly, like, I don't get it. Like, what I'm supposed to be doing right now? He like, don't your brother, song, ain't your brother's song, like, picking up a little bit? I'm like, right. yeah, he said, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Help your brother. Right. Like, if he got, if he, if your brother got some help on mm -hmm. help Tokyo, and it's, it's a history. That, that, right, like, Tokyo's that. a star. Like, didn't it, like, like I, I watched him go from, like, you know what I'm saying, us riding bikes to, like, him being in Ciroc commercials right. and, like, all types of, like, 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 I don't know, man. Like wow, man. I, I watched it happen, so I know that it's touchable. And with me, Tokyo is different. Like you sit down in one day and you and you ask him, like, what is it about to him? Like to him, you know, like I know, if I know my brother well, he gonna be like, yo, you know, I got a kid now. <laughs> True's world is out. I got my fiance. I just want to make good music, be able to take care of my family and do it. Man, it's all about that back to me. Yeah. To me. It's like, yeah, I want to take care of my family, but I want to take care of my family, 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 family. Right. I'm trying to plant like 10 seeds, right. my nigga. Right. I'm trying to plant 10 seeds and each seed give me 10, 20 million. Right. Like, I ain't cut, like, of course, nigga, as men, we got to take care of our family. Right. As you being a man, whoever you whoever you got, you got to take care of them. If I was a regular nigga working at Best Buy and I had a shorty and a kid, I got to take care of them. Yeah. So that ain't my plan. My right. plan is to continue to learn the game and teach niggas the game because it's like we all got a hoop dream we all want to rap we all want to do something and it's like no one want to really show you how to do it mm. 